Welcome to the Do-It-Yourself Automotive Electrical Diagnostic Program. My name's Steve Liguori. I've been a master automotive technician for over 35 years, and I've worked in dealerships for over 25 years, mostly as an electrical specialist. It was my job to diagnose the problems that most people had trouble fixing or finding out what was wrong with. What I want to try and do in this course is give to you some of the shortcuts and understanding of electrical that I have so that you can use it to identify information on a schematic and save the amount of time that you need to spend working on the car. I can't tell you how many times I would get a repair order that would say the blower motor doesn't work. The first thing I would do is walk over to the computer and print out the schematic that is for that particular model. And then I would walk over to the car to verify what the concern was. Spending five minutes sitting and looking at the picture and understanding what the possibilities were there were times that there was only one possibility of what could be wrong, where I could walk over to the parts department without even bringing the car in and say, do you have the blower motor resistor in stock for this particular model? And if that was the case, I could go right back up to the service desk and tell them what the car needed, and sometimes don't even have to make a test on the car as long as I've already verified that the condition was there. Now, it's not always that simple, but there were times that that's all it took. And other times, I could narrow down 50%, 75% of the circuit just by spending a little time looking at the schematic and understanding how that particular circuit worked. And that's the part that I'm trying to give you in this course, an understanding so that you'll narrow down for yourself. Sometimes you just need to go out to the car, verify the concern, find the proper schematic for the car, and spend a little time with it. And it's true that in the beginning, it's going to take you more time than it took me. But with practice, you'll wind up getting good at this and you'll find that you'll be amazed at how easy it can be. Now, if you're going to be repairing your own car on your own, it's going to require you taking some type of a hands-on course to make sure that you have the skills and the safety precautions necessary to do that. So I would be careful with jumping right in and testing something on your car until you're comfortable and feel you've acquired the skills to do that part. In this course, what I'm going to give you is that understanding of the picture and a way to help you diagnose and understand what the possibilities are. You're going to work like a detective where electrical diagnosis is a process of eliminating all of the potential suspects until there's only one left and then that person has to be guilty. And in this case, the person would be whatever component or wire that's causing the problem. So with that said, let's get started.